Okay, so you finally made the decision. You're moving to Orlando, Florida. But you're like, should I even buy? He's like, this the market just looks crazy. Like I just I've heard all these things. Like even in the national level, let alone Orlando itself. And like I, I just don't know what I want to do. It's just complicated. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about whether you should or shouldn't, and the top reason why you should not buy a home when moving to Orlando. So stay tuned till the end, and I will give you that reason. Let's go. What's up everyone, my name is Cameron Hodge here at Realtor in Orlando, Florida. And on this channel we talk about everything about living, eating, sleeping, and moving to Orlando. And we always are getting reach outs from across the world of people moving to Orlando, Florida, and we absolutely love it. So if you're on the fence or you just wanna talk about making that move to Orlando, we are here for you. Call, text, email, whatever you have to do, we have your back when moving to Orlando, Florida. So in this video, I wanted to talk about with a lot of things that people talk about when they reach out to us by call, text, email, and they're like, look, Cameron, I don't even know if I wanna buy. Like, it just looks crazy. Like, I don't know. And, you know, there's a lot of things to work through when it comes to making that decision. You know, and, like, I think the one of the first things to think about is, so you already know you're moving here. But it's, are you expecting to be here for an extended period of time? You know, so when you think about, you're like, all right, I know I'm moving to Orlando. It's like, are you planning on being here just for a year? two years three years or do you know for a fact this is going to be your long term is staying in central florida let alone orlando you know just as a whole right like i'm giving a little bit of leeway here but you know that this is where you're moving to in that case i'm like great you already stepped fast one because if you're like look i know i want to live there for a year like i already got this job opportunity and i know i want to be there for a year maybe two i just i don't know where i want to be or do and look in that case i completely get it and maybe if renting is a good thing for you but since COVID has started, rents in Orlando definitely have increased more than what I remember, even, you know, especially if it's been a while. So if you're like me and like I, I mean, by the time I came back to Orlando from the last time I was there, it was about 10 years. That's a big gap since the last time I was there. And ultimately, really, like rents were pretty pricey. And that's why we were like, look, like we're just going to, you know, we're going to, like I talked about it before, we're just going to build and we'll stay in California for the time being. I had business, family was there, like it was fine. We had the time, thankfully. So we were like, look, we're going to save money on rent because we were just going to move in with our mom. We helped her out. Like I know all of us, we kind of get that. We got lucky in that situation, but not everyone has that ability. So it's something to consider, right? Like when you got like, when you can still get like a three, $350,000 home, you know, when you start to push out or maybe even less in the right area, depending how far from central Orlando you want to go, it really comes down to is like, do you want to rent or do you want to own and be in control of your home? So like there's a lot of, a lot of this I've talked so far is very emotional. It really is, right? Like numbers are pretty blank. Like you can look at numbers and be like, we could talk numbers all day and be like, look, like, you know, this is what your mortgage would be. This is what you're, this is what you qualify for. Yada, 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 you know, everything that everyone wants to talk about. But really like, if you're not going to be happy, even if you purchase, then what the heck's the point? And that's just my opinion when I come into it. And any client who reaches out is like, look, yes, like this is what we do. We help people relocate to Orlando. It's what we do. It's our bread and butter. But it doesn't mean that it's the perfect fit for everyone. It's just a fact. Like if you put 100 people in a room, at least several are going to be like, wow, you're right. Like buying a home does not make sense for me because I don't know if I want to stay in this area for long or whichever their reason tends to be. Um, also, like I've heard some people who are like, I don't want to buy a home because I just, you know, it's just coming. Everyone says, like, I just don't want to be in competition with like, you know, multiple offers or just like the chaos and, you know, something I want to do. I can tell you from experience with several clients that we have helped, it's like, you know, they were in the same situation and it really came down to either this. So if they were able to be in a position to build a home, like they, so obviously veterans, we get very lucky with our ability to get homes in at a lower, you know, a lower barrier to entry and stuff like that. You know, other construction loans, you're at least looking at like 10% on average, if not more. So it gets very pricey and not everyone can afford that. I get it. They're moving here on a budget, completely understand. But sometimes it's really just a matter of like, if you have a flexible schedule and moving, then you're able to kind of like allow us time to kind of, as we get listings and stuff like that, we can be like, Hey, like, look, here's someone who doesn't want the traffic and they look, they just want to find someone that can buy their home as that it's worth and be able to move in. And we've had situations with our clients, we've helped them and brought those two sides together, kind of making a perfect world. That being said, 
I understand that most of us are just in a rush. A lot of clients reach out and they're like, look, I already got the job. I'm lined up. I am moving. And in that situation, it's just, it's go time. Like you got to find out your, your minimums. Like this is what we need and a minimum. And then just going from there and going for it. Yes. The market's still a little hot. Like it's definitely, you know, having ties in other markets across the country, I wouldn't say it's the worst because a lot of times it comes down to, are you willing to drive a little bit further? And that's just my appearance. Everyone has a different opinion because it's all perspective, right? So really what it comes down to is look, just look at yourself, look at your family, look at like, what do you need? If you're looking like, look, I just want a home that's established. So that way for the next three years, like we're building equity in a home, we own a home here. We don't have a landlord to deal with or things like that. And we have a good school for our kids so that we can get established because as people, especially, you know, our family, when we moved here, you know, we had this initial home, but over time, we just, we learn more, we explore more. Like even though we explored a lot before we came here and currently are exploring every week, it just comes down to it where you find an area like, wow, I didn't think about that area before. And if you really are just like, look, I want to shave off a ton of learning curve, then reach out to us, call, text, email, or just let us know in the comments below. Happy to help you when making that move and avoid a lot of the issues and errors that me and also my team ran into when we made the move out here. So like I said, just to wrap everything up, it's emotional. Like you got to know if you want to do it. Like everyone wants to say like it's the American dream and all this and that. But like some of us, one, aren't lo like we're not lucky enough to be in a position to purchase a home. Right. In that case, it's just look like we always have constant information where we put out and we're happy to throw you into that ecosystem. So you stay informed when that time comes. But others like they know they want to buy a home. Some have equity and they're able to put that equity into the next home. Not everyone does. We sure didn't when we moved here. Like, yeah, we sold our home and our condo in California at the time. But really, that just brought us back to square zero. Like when you factored in moving costs, like some of the costs, because no matter what, building is not free. <laughs> like there is money you have to bring out of pocket for that. And that, instead of the game, like, we were pretty much broke even when we moved out here. So overall, yes, we saved a little bit of money, but you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So if you're looking to make the move out here and you look, I know I'm moving. I'm just not sure if I want to build or if I want to buy or what the heck you want to do. We are here for you days, nights, weekends. Give us a call, text, email. We are happy to create a game plan for you and walk you through that process so you can know and make an educated decision whether that's the right fit for you. So without that, I will see you in the next video.